Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. It's been a while, and I uh, don't really have a lot that much time today to record a video, so I just wanted to bring you something that's kind of tied to what's going on in the real world in a weird kind of way. Um, we just had the 2016 presidential election, which I don't really want to even talk about. That's not what this video is about. But uh, kind of ironically... In Galaxies on Basilisk, a couple months ago, I don't even know how long ago it's been, I think it's been a couple months ago now, there was a political struggle between a guild and another guild, or a group of individuals in a guild, and anyway, I'm standing here in front of the North Coronet Mall, or what's left of the North Coronet Mall. If we go in here, this mall used to be pretty packed. And as you can see, it is no longer. Um, there are still some buildings here, and I know one of them spoke to me as I entered, saying that they're going to be here till the bitter end. I haven't really checked to see how well stocked these are. Uh, see, some of them are empty. I have moved. So, yeah, this video and no video that I'm going to make is going to get into the details of what happened because, quite honestly, I don't know enough of what happened and I don't really care to know enough of what happened. Um, all I know is that somebody pissed off somebody and they decided to get retaliation and they took over the city and caused a whole lot of people to get upset and caused a whole lot of people to lose their vendors and caused a couple of people to quit the game actually yeah a lot of these are basically dead most of these are dead oh a muffin how much is they want do they want for this muffin oh wow yeah no i can't really afford that if it was for a fair price though i would have bought it sorry alpra i can't afford your muffins um yeah, so that's sad. It's a real sad story that the uh, a disagreement between a select few people had uh, repercussions that sent out shockwaves and hurt a much larger portion of the community than really was intended. But um, that's, that's kind of what happens in a game where you have interdependency upon people. You know, if you have the mayor who can control taxes in a city and you've got people selling ven or with vendors within that city... Well, that mayor's actions has a direct influence on the success or failure of those vendors because people don't want to pay 20% sales tax on weapons that, you know, cost in the 5, 10 million credit range sometimes. That's, that's a big difference. Excuse me. So, but I mean, to, to people who, to the people that did that, and again, I don't know this for certain, but it's, it's kind of like... I had made jokes on the forums about since there's no PvP on Basilisk, this is the type of PvP that people have had to engage in. And it's kind of interesting because it reminds me when I used to play EVE Online. This is the exact kind of shit that goes down in EVE Online and we hear about on like Kotaku or like some other internet reporting website that does an article about some big, you know, scam for a corporation that somebody infiltrated and took over and disbanded and sent like all the stocks to to a different corporate like this is this is that level kind of stuff going on and it's it's interesting on one hand and it's really sad on the other hand because the galaxy's community is not the eve online community the galaxy's community is known much more as a helpful community um, there are definitely more people on here, like myself, that would rather help players than harm them. And I just wanted to throw this as like a little PSA out there. Like, look, yes, bad stuff happens. Don't get upset by it. Sometimes you'll run into people in the world that are malicious, that are intending to do more harm than good. But that's not the majority of them, so I don't know who all was impacted by this. And like I said, I don't really care. I, I, I kind of care. Part of me cares. I, I reach out to you. I'm sorry that you had to deal with this. But I, I don't want to get involved more than making this video just apologizing. Even though I had absolutely nothing to do with this. Um, 
somebody's going to think that I did now, but I didn't. Uh, just knowing that there, there are definitely more of us in this community that, that would rather not have seen this happen to you than, than the ones that caused it to happen. So I am sorry for those people. I am sorry that those people exist, but it's the internet. What are you going to do? I'm surprised there aren't more people like that on this game, but I'm glad that there aren't. Anyway, I'm sorry again for not posting too many Galaxies videos. I have a pretty interesting week coming up. I do have a couple days off coming up, so I should be making more content going forward. This is kind of my way of getting back into it, just making a short, not really educational, not a lot going on video, but I did want to point this out. I did want to bring this to everyone's attention. Um, the South Coronet Mall and the South Isley Mall are still active. Um, I'll put waypoints to those in the video description down below if you're looking for places to buy stuff. And of course you can always do use the Bazaar Terminal to do a vendor search. Um, there, there are many more malls out there than those two, but those are the two that I use the most frequently. So I'll just put those waypoints down there. If anyone else has any malls that are active, actively restocked that you frequent, Feel free to leave a comment and post the coordinates to that down below. That way other players, if they're looking for something that uh, either South Isley or South Coronet do not offer, um, there's, they have multiple options there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for such a downer video, but uh, yeah, more to come. Thanks for watching. Mobius1 here. I'll see you next time.